as you can see uh, from this uh, graphic uh, generated by real-time data. Chris Ferguson uh, flying a precise path uh, down the cone, the corridor, uh, that uh, would lead uh, to a docking a short time from now, just 50 feet separating Atlantis from the International Space Station. Atlantis uh, nearing uh, its destination at a glacial rate of about one-tenth of a foot per second. Thirty-four feet separating the two spacecraft, both flying in formation south of New Zealand. Houston and Station Atlantis on the big loop. We don't see a flyout. We're initiating final approach. Houston, copy. Pilot Doug Hurley informing uh, both uh, station and shuttle flight control rooms that no flyout is required, meaning no additional alignment required. Commander Chris Ferguson uh, is dead spot on with the two docking mechanisms uh, perfectly aligned, 24 feet uh, separating the two spacecraft, pressing in for final approach and docking. Now inside 20 feet. Fifteen feet. Still precisely aligned. Post-contact thrust is armed, 10 feet away, good steady approach. Six feet separating Atlantis from the International Space Station, standing by for contact and capture. Contact, docking confirmed. Capture confirmed at 10.07 a.m. Central Time. Houston, the station Atlantis, capture confirmed and we see three drifts. 
Station at last, Atlantis Houston, station free drift is confirmed. Pilot Doug Hurley confirms the arrival of Atlantis. The station now in free drift. The two docking mechanisms will have an opportunity to dampen out. Flight Engineer Ron Guerin greeting Commander Chris Ferguson and his crew. We think that pedal position too is just a bit flip. Do you agree? Yeah, Lannis, uh, we do concur. You go for step three. Okay, go step three. Atlantis, which began the era of international cooperation in space with the first shuttle docking to the Mir space station, comes full circle. The space shuttle has arrived at the International Space Station for the final time. Docking again occurring at 10.07 a.m. Central Time as Atlantis and the International Space Station flew 240 statute miles over the Pacific Ocean east of Christchurch, New Zealand.